Jane Sabalski, welcome to Raleigh, North Carolina. These two teams meeting for the first time here in this series. Ray, a quick thought on this one. Everything becomes magnified in a playoff series. Game one means so much because you want to get the jump on your opponent, but all you can worry about is your shift, your next time on the ice. It is such a fun time of the year to play. Yeah, you can just feel the buzz in this city all day long, and we are seconds away now for this opening faceoff. You can feel the intensity of this one. Total playoff atmosphere. We're underway. Tries to get the puck over to Deneau. Moves it to Gallagher. Throws it in. The Hurricanes have it against the wall. Reimer's going to slow things down and up for the whistle. Well, you got to kill the play eventually. That way everyone can get reorganized. Lots of time left in this period. Still no score in this one. The Canadians win the draw. Can't catch up to the pass. Quick feed to Pesci. Carolina's got a hold of the puck. Takes the feed. Here's a short pass to Ajo. Oh, a clutch save! Certain saves are more difficult than others. This one right from the slot is turned aside. Makes a move and the puck hops away from him. Solid check to slow him down. Karabinen's got it across the line. Moves the puck along the half wall. Moves it quickly over to Tara Biden. And that one's broken up. And now it's grabbed by Sherratt. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. And it's a quick pass to Anderson. Here's an odd man rush. Sends it over. The Hurricanes look to start the transition game. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Quick pass to Fogel. The Canadians gain possession along the wall. Jostles for the puck, but still hangs on. The Hurricanes gain control of it. Carolina's got the puck against the half wall. The Hurricanes scoop it up along the boards. Moves it to Toffoli. The Canadians move to the offensive zone. The Hurricanes gain possession in their own end. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. The Hurricanes have it in the offensive end. Moves the puck. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Hammers it, comes up with a stop. Pretty good shot. The goalie's able to get the blocker up on it and put it aside. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. Still looking for our first goal. Kakaniemi's won the face-off deep inside the offensive zone. Finds some space in the corner. Pokes it away in his own end. Montreal's gained possession along the boards. Quick feed to Niederreiter. The Hurricanes are on the attack. The Canadians take possession in the defensive end. Slides the puck across to Kulak. With possession along the wall. Here's a short pass to Niederreiter. The Hurricanes will play it from the defensive zone. Sends the pass over. The Canadians play it along the boards. Nice pass. Gardner's gonna play it against the half wall. Now a quick pass to Fleury. A nasty whack and the officials all over that one. Carolina's got it in their own zone. And now he moves it quickly to McGinn. And there's the whistle stopping the play. He's gonna go to the box for that stick work, Ray. Yeah, that's my favorite penalty, James. If somebody's bugging you, yeah, that's the one right there. But don't hit him in the pants. It just sounds like you're banging a drum. Find a spot with no pass. So make it count. Yes. The Hurricanes will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. Their first power play of the game. The game is scoreless, and now they'll start offensive zone faceoff. Move the puck around, get it to the net, and try and impose your will on the other team. They get it out of the defensive end. The Hurricanes have it behind the net. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Wrist shot from the slot, denies him in front. Sometimes you're in close, there's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. 
James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. We've still got zeros on the board. The Hurricanes will go to work here in the offensive zone. Rister makes the save. What a reaction with the blocker. Oh, you're not going to get a better chance than that, but the goalkeeper does a great job. Puck is cleared out of the defensive zone. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. The Hurricanes move it in. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Across the line from center. Nice defensive robbery with the stick. Last call here on this man advantage. Yeah, the power play's got to get the puck up the ice with a little bit of urgency. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. The Hurricanes run out of time on the man advantage. Both sides back to even strength. On the backhand! I like the work the penalty killers did there. The power play at times looked dangerous, but they didn't give up anything. And the power play is now over. Taken by Byron. He grabs the puck here at the point. Stones him in front. Quick glove hand here. He gets the glove out to make the stop. As a great older colleague of mine says, this is waffle boarded away. The centermen glide into position. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Sends it down low. And now he angles it across to Weber. That's a textbook save by Reimer. Aaron pass and the play's broken up. Sends the pass down low. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Excellent stick work on the play. Moves it to Sherratt. Montreal's moving it into the offensive end. Good battle along the boards for the puck. Big play inside the defensive zone. The Hurricanes get a hold of the puck along the boards. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Puck sent over to Ajo. Gaining momentum along the wing. Puck scooped up by Fogel. Moves it quickly over to Hamilton. And that one's blocked! Weber's stick handling in his own zone. Passes the puck over to Sherratt. The Canadians move it ahead. Montreal's got it along the wall. Let's it go! Oh, he stops it with the glove! Great reflexes there! Getting into the later stages of this period. Still scoreless in this one. Deneau's won the draw. Puck picked up by Kulak. His reflexes on display tonight. Had to be sharp. That's a great A chance. The Canadians win it. Quick pass to Kulak. Receives the pass. And that misses. Oh, man, he's frustrated with himself. He's got to get that on the net. Feeds the puck across to McGinn. The Hurricanes played along the wing. Bumped off the puck. Scrum ensues along the boards. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Montreal's got it against the boards. Grabs the puck. And the play continues. Feeds the puck to Kulak. They've got the defense outnumbered. To his teammate. Picked up along the boards by Deneau. Oh, smart heads are play to poke that one away. Dismiss that chance. Yeah, it's a sharp save, James. Right in the middle of the ice, he makes the stop and pushes it away. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. Scooped up along the wall by McGinn. Takes the pass. Carolina's got the puck against the boards. That concludes the first period. Really, both teams still filling each other out here as we are still scoreless. Hey fans, don't forget to find those draw boxes for the arena for our signed jersey, which we will give away tonight. And while both teams get a refresher, we'll take one ourselves heading into the second period.
Jane Slavowski, Ray Ferraro bringing you all the action. Period number two is about to go. No goals yet through the first 20 minutes. Let's see if this changes here at period number two as we get underway. One period already in the books. Ray, how have you seen this thing? Montreal's coaches keep patting them on the back when they come back to the bench, telling them what a good job they're doing. They know they've had the puck a lot. They're waiting for the breakthrough. Moves it to Gallagher. Strong defensive effort. And that one's picked off. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Montreal's moving it along the wing. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Montreal's got a hold of it against the wall. Working the puck deep inside their own end. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. Angles it over to Fogel. Carolina's got the puck along the wall. And that goes off the iron and stays out. What a shot. I mean, really good play, but it hits the post. And like everything else in this game, it stays out of the net. The Canadians take it along the wall. Along the half wall with the puck. Takes a whack, but still hangs on. Here's a shot! That's gloved by Reimer. Still plenty of time left in this frame. We're still scoreless. Scoops up the puck off the draw. The Hurricanes take it across the line. And loses possession after a solid hit. The setters will glide into the dot. Martinix won the draw here in the offensive zone. Montreal's got control of it now from their own end. The Hurricanes gain control of the puck against the wall. They'll change things up on the back end as that's sent in deep. The Canadians move the puck in the defensive zone. Toffoli's got it against the boards. No one home on that play. Martinix got it through the neutral zone. Moves it on over to Fleury. Into the offensive end now. Montreal's got a hold of it along the wall. Through center along the wing. Smart defensive play there. The Hurricanes grab possession to the puck. Looking for space inside the D zone. Here's a chance. Stopped by the goaltender. This is a quality chance if the goaltender turns aside right from the slot. Bumpy flares up the arm with the blocker. Makes a pretty good save here. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. The game is still scoreless. Carolina's got a hold of the puck. And now it's over to the single. Takes the feed. Montreal's got the puck along the boards. Kulak's got it along the wing. Quick feed to Fleury. Handles the puck. The Canadians have it against the wall. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Face-off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Picks off the pass. Montreal's got the puck along the wall. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. Great stick work with the steal. Carolina's got the puck in the defensive end. Into the offensive zone. Trocek's the victim of a slash, and the official caught that. We got a penalty coming up. Pretty nasty whack and slashing the call. If you're gonna slash somebody, don't slash them in the pants where it makes all kinds of noise. He gets called up for that almost every time. Another special teams opportunity for both sides as the man advantage unit is back to work again. Well, the power play gets another opportunity. They haven't been super busy tonight, but here's a chance to get on the board. Moves it quickly over to Trocek. He scores on the power play! Taking advantage of the extra man. Moves the puck well and get on the board. Power play 
job is to create shots. And if you can create them from the most dangerous areas of the ice, you're going to be successful. Dead center in the slot. He doesn't miss. The Hurricanes have taken a one goal lead here. Kind of surprising the way it's gone. Pretty fortunate to be ahead in a game that they haven't had much of the possession. Yet they were able to capitalize there. Maybe they can get themselves turned. Manages to hang on. Gobbles the puck up there with the chest. And the referee has blown his whistle, bringing a stop to the play. Montreal's looked good offensively to this point, but they continue to trail here in the second. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Makes the stop with the blocker. Slides the puck over. Oh, he might be shaking his head after that one. Pretty good shot. Nice delivery of the shot, but the goaltender beats him. Gallagher's got it through center. Regains control here in the neutral zone. Pumps the puck away. Sends a pass over. The Hurricanes have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Trying to get back on the attack now. Carolina's got it along the wall. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Price elects to hang on and get a whistle here, Ray. Yeah, pretty soon, James, the players in front of them are running all over the place. They're trying to help, but they're not. That cover was important. We're going to back this up again and get another look at this stop the goalie makes. He makes a solid save on a really dangerous chance. Past the midway mark of the frame, James and Ray with you tonight. The Hurricanes lead it 1-0. Takes the feed. Keeps a hold of it on the play. Puck grabbed by Anderson. Montreal's got it across the line. Throws it on goal, and he makes the save. Oh, bold move by the goaltender as he posts it away. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. What a stop as he puts out the fire. Jabs the puck away. The Canadians gain possession along the wall. Puck knocked loose in the neutral zone. And now it's grabbed by Shea. With the puck inside the defensive zone. Shea's got it on the offensive end. Slides the puck across to Perry. Montreal's in transition. Trocek's tripped up and the official's hand is in the air, signaling penalty. Play is stopped and here's the official call. Harry's been nabbed for tripping. Funny, coaches always tell you, get your stick on the puck. And then when you try and the guy trips up, they tell you, get your stick out of there. You kind of stuck. The Hurricanes send their man advantage unit out once more. Hey, another power play for them. They've been successful tonight. I don't think they changed the script much here. Turns it aside. Put it off the post. Niederreiter's frustration has to be at an all-time high. He's hit the post a couple of times. Uncle, how about a bounce for me, he's thinking. Shot right in front. And he gets a paddle on that one. Here's a short pass to Byron. The Zingles back in the play after getting a new stick at the bench. The Hurricanes have it behind the cage. Here they come up along the wing. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Now he takes it over the line. Great balance as he scoops it back up. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Huge stop by Reimer. Time winding down here. One last chance with this man advantage. They've spent too much time going up and down the ice. They're going to get it into the zone quickly. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Montreal's got a chance to work the transition game now shorthanded. Power play is over. Both teams back to even strength. Well, they'll have to regroup after that. The power play doesn't cash in. Opportunity lost for them. And less than a minute to go here in the middle frame. Well, the goalie had time to square up as that slap shot takes a little bit of time to set up, but it's a hard one. He makes the stop anyway. Here in the later stages of this period, Carolina's up one zip. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. The Canadians will play the puck from behind the net. Montreal's got one last chance to make something happen before the end of the period. 
rips it. Oh, he's going to be shaking his head after that one. Yeah, you go back to the bench here, kicking yourself in the rear end. You've got a scoring chance, and you don't even get it on net. Horn sounds to end the second period. Carolina's got a 1-0 lead after 40 minutes of play. They've certainly played well defensively. And don't forget to get the seats you want to the games you want by purchasing one of our six-game ticket packages today. The third period is just moments away, and both Ray and I will be ready to bring you all the action here on EA Sports.
40 minutes in the books. Big third period coming up for both teams, and we're ready to go. Moment of truth for one team. Here we go. Third period is underway. Well, we've got two periods under our belts to this point so far. Ray, how do you see things? The Canadiens are looking for the tying goal, and they should be heartened by the fact that they've had the lion's share of possession time. But they still trail by one. Montreal's gained possession along the boards. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Carolina's looking to break out. Gains the zone through center. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. The Canadians scoop it up along the boards. Tosses it on to Deneau. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. The Hurricanes get a hold of the puck along the boards. Montreal's looking to break out of their own end. Good hit on the play. Quick pass to Gallagher. The Canadians will play it against the boards. And that's stopped by the goaltender. Great save to stay with it. Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. That's going to rattle your molars around there. That is an enormous hit that he took. The Canadians have been the better team tonight, but they still trail on the scoreboard early in this third period. Trocek's won the faceoff. Moves it to Fogel. Carolina's got it in the offensive zone. Montreal's got a hold of it against the wall. And he regains control of the puck. is taking it from his own end. They've got numbers, it's a two on one. Great hand dive by the goaltender, poking it away. Dishes it to Fogel. Quick feed to Trocek. And he takes a shot, gets in front of it. Reimer's been perfect. 
perfect so far. He's kind of doing this all by himself. So busy, and he's been phenomenal tonight. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. Carolina's ahead, 1-0. The Canadians win it in the defensive zone. Montreal's moving it up the ice. Nice poke check. Picked up along the wall by Faust. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Couldn't complete the play. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Moves it quickly over to Perry. The Hurricanes gain control of the puck against the wall. Stops him cold. Reimer's going to hang on and just let them for a moment. He really didn't have many options to play the puck, but no. in a close game, you want to be sure every time you do. As soon as the player winds up, the goaltender moves out, squares up, and makes the save on the slapper. The Canadians have been the busier team in the offensive zone, but they still trail in the third. And they take possession. Nice job tangling him up on the draw. Pass to Niederreiter. Great pass from the left wing up the middle now. Oh, the officials were all over that trip. Skates in behind the cage. And he comes up with it. And the play is whistled dead. Here's the call. The Canadians have been handed a two-minute penalty for tripping. Now reaches in with his stick, and he'll go to the box. Carolina's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. When you've already scored on the power play and you get one now, you can't wait to get over the boards to get started again. Trying to clear the puck from his own end. And it's a small victory for the PK unit here. Well, that's their job. Get it down the ice, get off the ice, get some new people out there. Retrieves the puck, trying to kickstart this power play. Carolina's in now. Tries to feed it across. Makes his presence known on the ice. Obstruction penalty coming up. Looks like a hook here. Made the stop on the play. Let's see the call here. The Canadians have been called for hooking. Once he puts up his little token argument here, he's going to circle around a bit and try and regroup here as he goes through the penalty you, ahead? you never think it's the right call. Carolina's got a five on three and lots of time on their side. Not often you get a five on three of this length. You can score early, you might be able to get two. And they get the puck out of harm's way. The Hurricanes have it behind the net. Tries to feed it over to Tara Heinen. Carolina's on the attack. Here's a shot off the outside of the post and stays out. The Hurricanes are on the good side of the score here, but man, it would be a little bit different if these multiple posts would bounce into the net once in a while. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. The Hurricanes have taken a 1-0 lead. Takes possession off the draw. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Here's a chance to get it out of their own end and manages to clear the zone. Carolina's got a hold of it along the wall. Feeds it over to Trocek. Look out, a two-on-one. Takes that one right in the logo. And we're going to get a stoppage here as the referee blows the play dead. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Off the draw and a nice job locking up his opponent. Puck cleared from the defensive end. The Hurricanes have it against the wall. Here's a short pass to Ajo. Taken by Svechnikov. Defensive end with the stop. Both teams are now back to even strength as the power play has expired. The pressure points on the penalty kill have been letter perfect tonight. They've pushed at the right times. They've sagged back at the right times. Gotten the requisite saves when they need those two. Price holds his position. Stays in front of the puck and makes the stop. That's a good scoring chance. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. We got a 1-0 game to this point. The Canadians win the draw. Carolina's got the puck now. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Misses the net. You're going to go back and kick yourself for that one because he wants that on the net. He doesn't miss it by much. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Gains the zone through the middle. Montreal's grabbed a hold of the puck. Oh, what a stop with the blocker by Reimer. 
Puck scooped up by Anderson. Can't keep a hold of it. Tried to make a move and the puck hops away. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. Sent into the offensive zone. Montreal's got the puck along the boards. Circles back to center ice. Quick pass to Slavin. The Hurricanes carried along the wall. Quick shot, and that's blocked. Here's an offensive chance. Scrum along the boards. Montreal's got the puck along the wall. Moves it to Toffoli. The Canadians are in transition. The Hurricanes have it from their own end. Gains the zone on the left wing. Can't hang on to the puck after the play. Quick feed to Toffoli. Up along the wing. Moves it quickly over to DeSingle. And now he passes it to Fast. Carolina's got it in their own zone. Off the left wing and into center. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. Quick pass to Deneau. Scrum ensues along the boards. The Canadians gain possession along the wall. Moves it around along the half wall. A little dipsy doodle and he loses possession of the puck. The arms up, there's the whistle, and boy, look at the time here for a penalty coming up. The Canadians don't like it, but they'll serve two in the penalty box. Like every player in the history of the game, he doesn't like the call, but he's gonna have to go serve his minor penalty. Carolina special teams have another big opportunity to deliver here. When we talked to both coaches, they talked about how important the power play was. What I like about this team, though, they've already scored, and they look like they're hungry for more. The Canadians get a hold of the puck under man. Gets it out of his own end. Carolina's gained possession along the boards. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. Tried to get 2Q with it and loses possession. And the puck leaves the zone. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. The Hurricanes take it across the blue line. Sends it across, turns it away. But he came out and challenged him, good save. Puck moved back to center, forcing them to regroup. The Hurricanes scoop it up along the boards. Through center. Moves it up through the middle from the right. And the puck skips away after that move. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. Well, you have to look at that as a blown opportunity for the power play here at this point in the game as both teams are back at even strength. Tatar's hauled down. Penalty on the way. Nice zone entry from the right side. And the goaltender gets to the bench for the extra attacker. Let's get the official decision. Now uh, you react, you go to get the puck, and you stick your stick into the guy's feet. Down you go. Two minutes off to the box. A critical face-off looms here with the empty net. When the goalie's out, this face-off is all important. Win the draw, have a chance. Carolina's won the face-off deep in their own end. And the puck is cleared to a safer spot. Montreal's got it from behind the net. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Forces the turnover. Tries to get it out of the zone. Big defensive play on that clear. Yeah, puck's got to get out, especially late. He does a nice job here. Nice zone entry from the middle. The Canadians looking against the half wall. Great save by Reimer. Here we go, face off inside the offensive end. The net is empty, they've got the extra attacker out. The Hurricanes win the draw. An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside his own end. Round three in the books. Next stop, the Stanley Cup Finals. A shot just wide. And it is over. They're going to the Cup, Ray. Quick assessment of what you just saw and where they go now. Really difficult series to get through. You've got to get four wins against another excellent deep hockey club. Take a couple of days, relax, get healthy, and then reload because you've got four wins to go. Ray, I love the tradition, but it's got to be hard when you come up short. You feel really low because you've given everything you have, and you shake hands with somebody that's just beaten you. 
Well, they're going to touch this thing or what? Prince of Wales trophy usually gets ignored when it comes to the hands. Oh, man, I hate that. Touch the trophy, you earned it. What the heck does it matter if you touch the trophy and what's going to happen in the next series? Enjoy it. You won, man. And that'll do it for Ray Perrault. I'm James Cebulski. Thank you. Thank you.